Tell me about your role in the film, how you got involved, uh, and what made you want to get involved. So I play Aaron in the Miseducation of Cameron Post. Uh, I'm Cameron Post's roommate at the Gay Conversion Therapy Center. Um, my character is sort of uh, doing the best at buying into this idea that she can get better and she can have a happy life if she follows these rules. Um, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of humor and there's a lot of uh, pain and that was a lot of fun for me to play with. Cool. Um, what role do you think this movie could have in the conversations about Me Too and Time's Up and everything else going on? You know, I think, I think my favorite part about the movie, the, the, the part that really intrigues me the most, is that these people who are running the center, are they don't mean harm. They really truly think that what they're doing is right and what they're doing can help these people. They're just terribly misguided. And so I hope that um, it can bring light to the fact that uh, even when people think they're doing the right thing, if they're completely misguided, it can do a lot of harm. And I, I hope, you know, we just had um, New Hampshire just decided to um, not make gay conversion therapy illegal in the state and so I think that I hope that it brings awareness to, to, that to not make it illegal yeah so okay. they voted to to keep it to keep yeah. it legal in, in New Hampshire so yeah kind of sucks and so I'm hoping that it brings awareness to that, that is issue. that is really interesting yeah everyone's kind of the protagonist in their own story even these people who may be you know tor tormenting young girls right right and when we were shooting it we weren't you know Mike Pence wasn't even vice president yet. We weren't quite sure that it was uh, going to be timely. And while we were shooting it, uh, the election happened and it became timely. Cool. Anything yeah. else you want to share since I haven't seen the movie yet? Uh, some oh, about the production or what, um, you know, what? Um, it, it was really a true testament to Desiree um, that we were able to make this movie and all have fun. You know, we were all living together uh, where we were shooting at this old German lodge in upstate New York. And so it, it sort of felt like we were all at camp together and all at this center together. And um, I'm just really proud. You know, it's, it's exciting to see um, young female filmmakers of color making really important work and doing it in a way that uh, really brings community together. Bye.